Hey, sneaky looks back this evening. Today we've got another little series I'm about to start up. Now I've been doing sneaky gimping, haven't I? Well, this one, of course, is called Sneaky Shots. And basically, we're going to go through open shot and video making for screencasters, or whoever makes videos at the end of the day, but these are going to be really, really short ones. So in this first, sorry, first instance of Sneaky Shots, we're going to show you around open shot the basics and the things you need to set before you even get started, okay? So I'll go to my menu over in the corner there, over to multimedia, down to open shot, okay? And open shot will open in a second, like so. Nice and quick, wasn't it? Now as you can see, I've set up my screens how I like them on this machine here, okay? There's only two tracks at the moment. We'll go into the tracks later in a different video. This is just the basics. So anyway, under file, you can import your projects, open your projects, etc, etc, etc. Export and upload videos directly to YouTube and other places, but we're not doing that, are we? Next is edit. Now, the only thing I'm interested in here is preferences, okay? So we go to preferences, and under general, you've got the default theme is fresh air, which is fine for me. This machine I use here is just for videos at the end of the day. As you can see, imported image length is a maximum of seven at the moment. You can change that to wherever it, you want it to be. If it is nine, it will just import it. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, so that's all right. Output mode, SDL, that's fine for me. Smooth scaling, icon scar, size, and melt. Melt is using here, lovely. Right, if you want to use the animated titles, you do need to use Blender, okay? For a simple reason, it won't work otherwise, right? Okay, let's step out of the way. Now, if you've got the latest version of Blender, you will find it ain't working sometimes. It may work for some of you, and may not work for you at other times. The easiest way to do this, to get around it, is to specify the home. So I've actually downloaded the older version of Blender, Blender 259, okay? So here's my path, home, me, Blender 259, Blender. You don't have to install it, you just have to unpack it, and it has to be in your home folder. So see, I'll put it in my home folder here. If I show you what I mean, if I actually do that, and if I actually do that, I'll open my home folder, just like so, you'll see the Blender folder here. You do not have to install it, all right? You don't have to do that, okay? As long as that's clear. So we're back to open shot, we're back with preferences again. My audio visual formats, there's loads, I've got loads and loads to choose from, okay? This is the thing with open shot, it's not Caden lifestyle but just to get what you want done, it will be doing the job for your screencast easy wheezy, okay? You've got plenty of video codecs, plenty of audio codecs, and plenty of formats to save to. Right, under profiles, you must set your default profile. Now, as you know, I always do it in HT720. For a simple reason, I ain't got a big enough screen to make them full HD. Obviously, when I get some cash, I will do. But obviously, you can choose what thing you want to save it to here. So if you've got HD, 1080 at 25 frames a second, it's there. They're all here, look. There's loads and loads and loads to save too. But for me, HD 720p at 25 frames a second is fine for, for YouTube especially. So you just save it there. You can manage different profiles. You can also get to auto save, okay? Auto save, right the way there, okay? But I don't do that because I've never had it crash on me whatsoever. No, I haven't. So, that's that bad way. If you go to titles, you've got new title and new animated titles. This is just making the titles for the entrances for your videos. So say this is a, a flat intro, you just wanted a Creative Commons thing, you go put it here, create your title, put the stuff in you want here, like a song name and song author, like I do, it's all done. And as for animated titles, same thing goes again. But don't forget to number the ones, just in case you're using lots and lots. There's loads and loads here for you to use, okay? If we go to view, I've just got a toolbar on here, but you can have history and full screen as well. It will depend on how big real estate you want to use or have got. And under help, content, report a bug, translate and about. Right, that's the first one of Sneaky Shots, okay? The very first one. The next one, we're going to do some video work, okay? That's it good for you? It's good for me. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.